Meanwhile, the Pentagon's top general defended on Wednesday the U.S. military's response to the Taliban's uh, breakneck seizure of power in Afghanistan, saying no one foresaw the collapse of the U.S.-trained Afghan forces that fast. Take a look. However, the time frame of a rapid collapse, that was widely estimated and ranged from weeks to months and even years following our departure. There was nothing that I or anyone else saw that indicated a collapse of this army and this government in 11 days. The Taliban are in and around Kabul right now, but they are not interfering with our operations. Through the State Department, the Taliban are facilitating the safe passage to the airport for American citizens, that is, U.S. passport holders. Now, critics have uh, faulted the State Department, U.S. intelligence, and the Pentagon for not anticipating the debacle and preparing earlier for the evacuation, which involves more than 10,000 U.S. citizens. Douglas Landon, the CIA's former counterterror terrorism chief for South Asia and then an advisor to Biden's presidential campaign, said U.S. intelligence had predicted the Taliban would defeat Afghan forces and that it was possible the government would capitulate within days.